My own experience during World War II, where I was uh, arrested by the Gestapo and sent to a concentration camp, Buchenwald, Dora. I was there when something terrible happened to our Jewish friends, what is called the Shoah, the destruction of European Jews. Immediately afterwards, we managed to draft the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was saying exactly the opposite of what we had witnessed during World War II. We now knew what it was to be inhuman, as the Nazis had been inhuman towards the Jews. We all then read later on the book of Primo Levi, excellent book, is it, If It Is a Man. And therefore, the idea of humanity, what is human and what is not human, became the message of a generation. My generation, the generation who fought the Second World War, who was there when the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was drafted, who was there when Israel was created as a state for the Jews who had suffered this terrible destruction during World War II, we hoped that now this new land, Israel, would develop in a friendly manner with humanity and compassion towards their neighbors, the Palestinians. That is why when it happened that Israel behaved in the most criminal fashion towards their neighbors, the Palestinians, we then felt that something fundamental, something humanly fundamental was being destroyed. And we thought it would be difficult after that to still behave like human beings. But we are now determined not to allow ourselves to be carried away by any form of inhumanity. We are determined to be indignant when humanity is being spoilt and to be true to our human basic values. Change is absolutely necessary. We cannot continue to live in a world where so much injustice, so much lack of compassion is there in many countries, not only in North Africa, not only in the Near East, but even in our own so-called democratic countries where all too frequently we cannot agree with the way we are being governed. We must find new forms of expressing our dissent, of expressing that we do not agree with the way problems are being handled, that we feel that the financial forces are left without any control. There is impunity on the way some of these forces behave or some of these governments behave throughout the world. We must find, therefore, new ways of expressing our disagreement, going to the streets, holding up our hands against those who behave in a way which we consider insufferable. I have had a very, very long life in which I have spoken, written, listened, but acting has become now more important. We cannot just content ourselves with saying the things which pretending that things must change, we have to commit ourselves. That is the 
teaching of my first philosophy professor, Jean-Paul Sartre. He taught us that we must engage ourselves, not only, not only be outraged, but be active about what has to be changed. It is not easy to find the action that is efficient. A book can be very efficient, like the marvelous book of Vittorio Arrigoni. It can be efficient because it is strong and it calls on people to behave differently. But we still have to find a way from thought to act. And that way is not easy for people who are no longer in a military situation. They are in a civilian situation. They can go on the streets and be determined, as the people have done, occupy Wall Street. That is an active way of showing one's dissent. I think that is an important new way of behaving. Thank you. Thank you.